Hi everybody, welcome again to this channel. Today we are sad here in Tanzania. We have lost one of the Swahili language champion, the second president of the United Republic of Tanzania, Ali Hassan Mwinyi. Please welcome to hear more about his love for Swahili language. The former president Ali Hassan Mwinyi passed away today, Thursday, February 29th, year 2024 in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania at 17.30 hours East African time at the age of 98. He has lost his life to lung cancer. He is known for his love for Swahili language and will be remembered for his unforgettable Swahili sayings. The former president was nicknamed Mzewa Ruksa, which is loosely translated as an elder who permits everything. This was because of his political stand when he led the country into free market economics from socialism. In 2021, the late Mze Mwinyi published his Swahili memoir book titled Mze Ruksa, The Journey of My Life, Safari Ya Maisha Yangu. The decision to write a book in Swahili was commended by many. The late Mze Mwinyi was in office between 1985 and 1995. Born in Dar es Salaam and raised in Zanzibar, the home of Swahili language, made him capable of being one of the best Swahili native speakers. Mze Mwinyi has also served as the chairperson of the Council of Swahili Language in Tanzania, Baki. During his speeches in different occasions, the former president Mwinyi had made some sayings becoming very famous and liked by many, as he was good in selecting relevant sayings for different occasions. The former president of Tanzania was once quoted admitting that he loves Swahili language and he knows it deeply. Some Swahili quotes by Mwinyi that are highly remembered are Tanzania sio kichwa cha mwenda wazimu. Tanzania is not a madman's head. This uh, kichwa cha mwenda wazimu is a metaphor expression in Swahili to convey that something is so chaotic, disorganized or nonsensical. And he was talking about the national football team that the team is not the madman's head for everyone to learn how to cut the hair. Another Swahili quote by him was, Manadamu ni hadithi tu hapa duniani, kuwa hadithi nzuri kwa wale ambao watasimuliwa. Meaning, human beings are a story in this world. Be the good story to those who will be told your stories. Another quote from him was Kila msitu na komba wake, meaning every forest is with or has its own bush baby. The late former president was not only a master of Swahili language, but he also had a certificate of English proficiency from the UK in 1960. And he also had a certificate of Arabic language proficiency where he graduated in Egypt in 1974. That is the end of today's video. Thank you.